Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection. Our Gospel this morning comes from Luke chapter 7, verses, 7, verses 11 to 17. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus went to a town called Nain, accompanied by his disciples and a great number of people. When he was near the gate of that town, it happened that a dead man was being carried out for burial, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a considerable number of the townspeople were with her. When the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her. Do not cry, he said. And then he went up and put his hand on the bier, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I tell you to get up. And the dead man sat up and began to talk. And Jesus gave him to his mother. Everyone was filled with awe and praise God, saying, A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. And this opinion of him spread throughout Judea and all over the countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. This story of the widow's son is told with typical Lucan delicacy. He stresses in the Gospel that this was her only son. We're also told by Luke that she was a widow. So now, after the death of her husband and her son, she is a woman in the world without a man. And in those times, that meant that she had no one to care for her. Her situation was hopeless. And we hear that Jesus feels for her. At the end of the Gospel, we are reminded of the Old Testament stories by the acclamation that a great prophet has arisen. And in Luke, Jesus is often characterised as a prophet. His foreknowledge and his prophesying are stressed. And finally, his ascension is described in terms reminiscent of Elijah's ascent into heaven. Our gospel today sees Jesus give the gift of life to the Son. He also gives the gift of life to the mother. He saw a woman in need. He felt for her and helped her. For our reflection, we might look at our own lives. How do we respond when we see someone in distress, when someone is in need? How do we respond? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection this morning. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and sharing some more with you. And until then, take care. And God bless. Mm -hmm.